Absolutely, absolutely. So essentially, bariatric surgery is a very serious form of treatment for a very serious disease, right? We are talking about the treatment of morbid obesity, uh, obesity where the weight has gone really to extreme levels. We talk about body mass index greater than 40. We talk about a person having a weight which is at least 100 pounds over their ideal body weight. So if their healthy weight was 150 pounds, the person will be at 250 pounds, right? That is when bariatric surgery becomes indicated, becomes a treatment that can be uh, recommended for somebody who's struggling with weight. So, but it is a serious treatment, right? When people hear about surgery, that is actually something that takes them aback, right? In fact, on average, most of my patients will tell me that when they hear about bariatric surgery as applied to them the very first time, they reject it outright. They think this is not for me. I can do it by myself. In fact, very often they may have even a sense of guilt thinking that by going to bariatric surgery, almost like they are, uh, it's a cop out, right? That they are getting out of the real hard work of losing weight. Well, what they don't realize at that time is that the reason they're not able to lose weight by themselves is because they are fighting their own biology. Once the levels of weight reaches those of morbid obesity, it becomes exceedingly difficult for anybody to lose. But the fact that they haven't lost is understood by them as failure. So they go on and on trying. And they feel if they have to do surgery, it's almost like they are choosing the easy way out. This is obviously perpetuated by the uh, by the stigma that is associated with obesity by our society. Obesity really is a disease. People reach that level of obesity because there is a biology that drives that. That is the key really. But without understanding that, patients feel guilty about looking out for surgery. So when they first hear about bariatric surgery, as I said, they reject the idea. But then over time, the idea matures in their head that maybe bariatric surgery is the solution for them. And then now, as you know, we are in a situation where the whole uh, medical establishment has accepted bariatric surgery as a very important form of treatment for morbid obesity. So primary care doctors, family doctors are now routinely recommending bariatric surgery. There was a time in which primary care doctors would never even mention weight as a problem of patients when they encountered them, right? Many years ago, right? But now, they recognize it's a disease, they discuss it with the patients, and when it's appropriate, they recommend bariatric surgery. So patients come to us with this type of perception and understanding, Kamal, and it is not unusual for them to still feel, maybe I can do it by myself, maybe this is not something that's necessary for me, and we see patients actually dropping out because of that. But what happens? What happens is the same thing that has happened for years happens again. They still are not able to lose weight. Just uh, today, actually, I saw a patient that I had seen about four or five years ago, right? Their weight was around 270 pounds at that time, right? They started the process, they went through all the preparation, but then they decided they wanted to try to see if they could lose by themselves, right? And they were not. And they were 270 pounds then. When they came back to see me this time, the weight was up at 325 pounds, right? Much, That's much more increase right? Which so means that their quality of life and also their risk of illnesses had gone way up by the time they have returned. 